Hey, Sneaker is back. Update from the last video, a couple of hours ago, yeah? I actually made that one last night. I've done this one when I got home from work, basically, before I had to do other stuff. <clears throat> now, as I said, we're trying to do a distro for old school laptops, okay? Old school laptops. So, the, one of the first ones I've looked at is Lubuntu. And in theory, it should be fantastic. Now, I've installed some stuff here with it, and I will theme it for the school and change the boot up menu and everything. And then I came to a few problems, okay, yes, with certain programs. Or well, I could just take these programs out, but I'll show you a couple of them anyway. Oh, one thing which I don't like, there's no uh, run section on the menu here, so I can't type in what I want, unlike XFCE. But obviously, I could always add that another time. Anyway, moving on. The basic setup here is fantastic, ideal. I've installed LibreOffice and Gcompriz. Unfortunately, there is now no sound with Gcompriz. Yeah, but I will look into that. But it's basic stuff for for kids, really. Look, so I tip, click here. They have to wipe away to get the image. Simple as that. No more. But there's no sand anymore. So I will look into that. So we'll come out of that. Yes, I'm sure. Excuse me. <clears throat> no, drink, drink of water while I'm here. Also, obviously, and education, we've put in Scratch, Tux Math, Tux Type. But really, most schoolwork, as I said to you before, is online only now. Everything's online. We put all right today. Okay, today I tell a lie. Spreadsheets today. It's the first time we've done that for. Well, some of the kids have, didn't even know what a spreadsheet was. Bear in mind, this is key stage two, guys. Okay, key stage two. So that's uh, seven and eight today. Years old. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. So under internet, of course, they're going to be using. Google Chrome, so we can add that to the desktop, can't we? There we go. They're going to be using Firefox as well, probably. So we'll add that to the desktop. Lovely. Now, what I did do here, down on the bar, is go to Panel Settings and Appearance. And use that there. Now, does that look better? I'm not so sure. Okay, I'm not so sure. But I'll show you where the main problem came with Ubuntu. Because apart from that, it was screamingly fast, low RAM uses, but the FH top, I can't remember. Hmm. <clears throat> Where are we? And I'll have to find out for you. Where are we? The next pad we want. Send a video program. Where's it all gone? Where's it all gone? It's not here what I want. Never mind. <clears throat> oh, I installed Mind Test as well, because that can be quite educational. Yeah, yeah. It can be. And all the other programs. But if I go to System Tools. Is it in System Tools? No, it's not. Preferences. Where's it gone? <gasps> it disappeared. Or did I uninstall it last night? You know what? There it, no, there it is. I didn't un uninstall it. It's P sensor. Now, when we're running like this, it's ideal, okay? It's not heating up my system. You know, the ideal for laptops, older ones. But if I do this, and then I'll go like that, and show, that's not doing it now. I'll have to reevaluate what I was going to say. Oh my god. But what was happening earlier, before the update, when I got home, was. There was loads of P sensors open all the time, okay? But that seems to have solved itself. So this could still be in the running, so on and so forth. I mean, Google Chrome opens up really fast for them. Another drop of water. But I'm going to look into XFC, of course, and then we're going to look into Peppermint to see if I can get the boot, really, on this machine anyway. Because Peppermint actually comes with quite a lot of stuff already installed, and it's part XFC as well, which I like at the end of the day. So yes, anyway, Lubuntu is back in the running, it looks like. I mean, if it can run fast on old laptops, that's ideal. Because all they're doing, basically, is online stuff. Yes, okay, today we've done spreadsheets. So I'll go to Office. We was doing Calc today, okay. Obviously, we wasn't using LibreOffice. I wish we could. We might have to on these machines. Okay, we'll see what we do. Because they've got online accounts. But it looks quite old-fashioned here, okay. It's got the really old look, so that'll have to be themed as well. So it's got the new themes for it. But in general, fantastic. Mm. So, tell me what you think. Educational distro. What should we base it on? What goes in it? Mm. Sneaky Linux out. I see you later. Bye bye.